Hey, what's happening, everybody? Rod J back again to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Tonight, I'm taking a look at one out of the Brooklyn Brewery, out of Brooklyn, New York. It is the Brooklyn Scorcher IPA. So you know I'm a big IPA fan. I'm a fan of Brooklyn Brewery. Hopefully, this one delivers here. This is actually a session IPA, so I'm not usually as huge of a session fan. Ended up picking it up, didn't realize it at the time, so I end up having it now, so I gotta drink it. 4.5% ABV. Let's get it into a glass and see what it has to offer. Brooklyn Scorcher IPA. All right, all right, all right. So there we go, into the glass. Pretty decent looking beer. Check out all that action on the inside. Definitely looks to be one that is filtered in the bottle. Got a lot of stuff floating in there. That's not just carbonation, I believe. I believe that's some particles taking place. The head is a decent head, though. Came out two finger, nice foaminess. Pretty much a crisp white head there. But look at all of that action taking place there. I mean, that is a little bit of a haze there. You can't see through to the other side. But the particles inside are almost just like suspended. They're not even moving as much or kind of just suspended in motion slowly moving to the top there not sure what all of that is about but we're going to check that out here in a second as far as the aroma i already started picking up some of that pontiness without even trying to take a sniff but let's go ahead and get into it it's got that nice uh pine smell coming out it's got a nice little bit of that fruitiness reminiscent of that grapefruit tangerine citrus type expectation you have for an IPA it smells really good a little bit of that dankness on the back end did not mention what the IBU was on the uh, information I was looking at on this beer and I haven't found it online yet but it's definitely got that nice IPA feel it smells really good really really good let's go ahead and get a taste so you get a big hit up front big bitterness I really am curious about the IBU now Jumps right in the mouth. Nice crisp break on the back end. But you get an explosion pretty much up front when you take that first taste of it. Wow, puts a really big bitterness on that initial, which I like. But going down, not as bad. Uh, slight bit of a scrape maybe on the back end. But a nice crisp, uh, refreshing uh, feel there. Inside the mouth, I'm getting a lot of the flavor from the hops that were used there. Picking up an essence of kind of this citrus type flavor. It is getting off the tongue nicely and getting to the cheek area. This one has a little bit more to it than what I would expect on a session. It really does stand up with some of your regular IPAs for all the body you're getting on this one. Not too thin at all. It's got a nice uh, bit of a backbone here. I'm digging the hoppiness of it. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can, you can easily sit back and session some of these. Wouldn't be a bad one to have on a warm day either. Kicking back, sitting out on the deck, sitting out in front of the bar, sitting out somewhere and just chilling and relaxing. This baby will get the job done for sure. It's got a nice duration of flavor. Flavor's kicking around the mouth very nicely. Body wise, sitting more to a medium body, but not overly heavy on the tongue, very palatable in that regard. Carbonation is just right, not too over carbonated at all. A little bit of that lacing taking place there. But a nice, refreshing uh, beer here from Brooklyn Brewery, who always seem to do a pretty good job for the most part on all their beers. In fact, I don't know if I've had one from them. I haven't liked as of yet. But there you have it, Brooklyn Brewery Scorcher IPA. If you've had it before, let me know. Put some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think about it. But it's a nice one that's a nice hoppy, nice tasting IPA, session IPA. Drink a few of these, you'll still be all right. 4.5% ABV. You can just chill, relax, and uh, kick back, put your feet up. Oh, yeah, that one definitely works. But thanks again for swinging by. Check out another video. I look forward to catching you next one. As always, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good jazz. And until I see you next time, keep drinking good craft beers. Cheers.